I don't think we've ever built a car that made you actually feel this comfortable doing something so wrong. It's visceral, raw, and powerful. For 15 years, BBI Autosport have specialized in high-end aftermarket tuning. We take this beautiful canvas that Porsche gives us and we tailor it to a client's need or to a specific goal that we're after. We started with a 991 GT2 RS, the most powerful car Porsche has ever put out as a production vehicle. We just wanted to have a more focused car. It was a daunting task. A custom calibrated engine, upgraded turbo, and advanced cooling make this Porsche one of a kind. This is the BBI GT2 RS VMAX. VMAX because we developed it for top speed runs to hit as fast a speed as possible, as fast as possible. It's Porsche's flagship sports car. It's got amazing aero, great power, incredible handling. From first glance, you probably wouldn't be able to tell that it's any different from a car at the showroom floor. It's a little lower, it's got slightly different wheels, it's got some interior removed, and it has a hell of a lot more horsepower. It's uh, deadly, but fast, unassuming, and actually you could go get your groceries in it. A pretty impressive daily driver, but it's on the track where this car is truly at home. The Airstrip is awesome because you're in a controlled environment. You can choose to run by yourself or next to somebody who's 40 or 50 feet away from you. So you're really hyper-focused on how the engine feels. And come back, talk to the crew. They end up looking at all the data. We can take that and apply that to the next time we go back. We've done a lot of these half miles. We did learn a lot there about thermal management, learning about tuning, turbo shaft speed, and efficiency ranges. Being out there, to me, feels more like a tool that allows you to focus and hone rather than this white knuckling, I don't know what happened, I'm just glad I made it to the end. Looking strong, what's that mile an hour gonna be? 200.98 miles an hour for Darren. I'm talking about The focus of this entire project really highlights the other components of our product line and shows that when you put everything together in a package you have this OEM plus feel of a vehicle that could maybe have been built by the Skunk Works program at Porsche. The fastest we've gone in this car is 227 miles an hour. We did some quick math. It's geared to 242 and we can raise the rev limiter a little bit maybe with a long enough road, we could go 245. This car has bigger turbochargers, more intercooler, better calibration, a water methanol injection system, better chassis to handle the high speed, and of course running the Michelin tires because they're just proven to be phenomenal at any speed and power level. There's also a lot of work on the interior. There are race seats and harnesses to ensure that the car is safe. Modifying vehicles at this level takes years of experience and the latest technology. In cars like these, fueling could be an issue, so we need to add secondary fueling. So we'll take the factory manifold, this plastic piece. Here, detail here. Scan the manifold, scan the engine bay, and come up with this aluminum 3D printed piece. This technology, along with the reverse engineering methods, allows us to create stronger, better components. All that texture. If we're going to 3D print it, you, you get a lot of creativity in manufacturing, so we ended up coming up with this little design, that, making it so that you don't get that buffet inside the car. Just anything to redirect that airflow down six or seven inches back there, it just got it closer to the air scoop. And a transformation like this doesn't come cheap. The price of a GT2 RS is $350,000. With all the work and the development that we've done, probably makes it close to the half million mark. The hardest part about going that fast is keeping your right foot on the accelerator. Everything in your body tells you, uh, okay, this is enough. The wind, the noise, the, the way that the chassis is talking to the ground. After about 200 miles an hour, the car will start to kind of pick a lane. You sit there and the car settles into itself really well. 
it's hard to describe that feeling. It's just, uh, it's, it's, it's incredible. I like the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde duality of it. You can take it to the grocery store, but it performs like a supercar that will slap you in the mouth if you mess up a little bit.